Hello friends and fashion lovers, you're welcome back. My name is Esther and I want to say a very big thank you for all your support, for always watching my video. Thank you for clicking on this video and if you're here for the first time, please do well to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified each time I upload a new video. Today's tutorial is how to make this lovely dress that you're seeing me wearing on the screen. To get started, the things you need for this dress making are your main fabric. If your main fabric is as light as mine or you just want some stability, you need a fusible interface. Then you need your zipper, then a lining for the fabric. Then for the pattern, you need your basic bodice pattern and you need your skirt block, pattern block. If you need help drafting any of this, the link will be in the description box. Firstly, to your basic bodice pattern, just take your measuring tape and along the arm sky, that's from the shoulder down, mark 5 inches downward. That's 5 inches. Depending on how high or how low you want your princess dad to sit, I want mine to sit at just 5 inches. So connect from that marking to your boss point if your basic bodice look like mine with the side that connect it make sure it touches the leg of this that where's that if it looks like this then you can proceed to the next step the next step is cut open that line that will be your princess that then to your side that your boss that cut open that to your boss point now use the masking tape and close your side that to open another like so just like you've seen on the screen if it's exactly like this then all you need to do is cut out your waist that then your princess that is ready as simple as that please don't forget to notch notching is important so just keep a mark there so that when you cut on your fabric you can actually notch it on your fabric now that our princess that is ready, we'll work on the neck line. So depending on the neck style you are going for mine, I want it 5 inches for the width and 4 inches for the depth. It will finish off at 4.5 after sewing. Kind of like a boat's neck, a boat's neck design. So I'm just going to curve my neckline out at this point so I'm going to use the same 5 inches width for the back then 1.5 inch depth for the back the width is 5 inches by 1.5 inches so I'll just connect that out after which I will cut them out With the neckline cut out, the bodice is pretty much ready at this point. Just ensure that you indicate that the center front is going to be cut on fold. After that, don't forget to add your seaming allowance along this area I'm indicating. So now to the back, don't forget your seaming allowance at the back too and also your zip allowance. The back you will cut two pieces for the back. Now if you love the princess that at the back, just mark 5 inch down just the same as you did for the front Then find your bust pan measurements. Then use a cuff ruler or your arm cuff and connect this point. 
there you have it. Your back print says that. So it's going to be a cut through and you sew it back with your seaming allowance. So in case you are wondering if you watch my pattern drafting video and you're wondering how the back and front side piece will fit, here it is. It fits absolutely perfect because when you take out the dots, that's the difference between the back and the front. It just fits perfectly. Another thing to do is in case you're worried about the line not being straight, use your ruler and draw back this line by the side. Then you go ahead and add your seaming allowance when cutting on your fabric. Yeah, I've used my pattern to cut my fabric and here it is with all my seaming allowance as you can see on the screen. So these are my pieces. I'm just opening them up so that you will see how they look like. So for extra stability, I'm going to fuse my fusible interface on my main fabric for the front and iron it. After which I will sew my princess that. And I'll do the same for the main fabric and the lining. I won't be padding the top. So here I have sewn my princess that, as you have seen, both for the main fabric and for the lining. So it's time to notch. So after notching, make sure you iron and press open the seam so that your bust will be prominent after which you do right sides together as right side facing each other you'll be sewing along the neckline for the front and right side facing each other you sew along the neckline on the back so after sewing the necklines like I did. Don't mind me for not ironing yet. I will iron soon. So make sure that you notch all the necklines and turn it right side out. At this point, if you would like, you could open up the seam and push it towards your lining and your top stitch so that your bodice can lie flat it's actually optional but it makes a whole difference at this point after top stitching just place the shoulder seams together main fabric to main fabric lining to lining and make sure you join the front and the back of this bodice at the shoulder do same for both sides main fabric to main fabric lining to lining sew them at the shoulder this is it after sewing and i have ironed <laughs> my princess that so now the bodice is ready to the skirt piece now I've used up my skirt block to cut the lower part of my dress. That's the skirt part of this dress. So here it is. So what I'll do next is right side facing each other. I will pin or clip in place as a main fabric to the main fabric. And if we are using the lining below make sure that it's the main fabric to the main fabric the lining to the lining but in case you're not using lining at your skirts you're not lining your skirt please join them after pinning them in place make sure you sew them at after sewing attach your zip at the back so here is my zip let's move to the sleeve I'm taking out two rectangular pieces for the sleeve and I'm going to be lining it 
and it's measured 13 inches by 43 inches I know that is a lot of fabric so make sure that it's right side facing each other that's your lining and your fabric just join one side of this make sure that your lining is at least an inch shorter than your main fabric after joining the lining and the main fabric fold them in half as you've seen in screen to the open side not the folded side to the open side mark five to seven inches down and to the upper side mark eight inches I'll take your curve ruler and connect this point I'm using my hip curve to connect the point so just connect it kind of like forming a sleeve curve after connecting you cut it out I don't know why mine my chalk wasn't very visible at this point but I'm going to repeat the same process for the second piece so that you get the point just mark 5 inches 5 to 7 inches downward I'm using 5 inches but you can take up to 7 inches 5 inches downward then 8 inches away from the folded edge then get a curve ruler and connect this point to form a curve or should I say semi curve or an arc so after doing this what you need to do is gather it up so after gathering it up this is what it looks like I'm going to be attaching it to my dress my zip is fixed so assuming you've noticed the center point of this sleeve now you start pinning it or clipping however method but you just have to pin it in place now take to your sewing machine and sew the slip to the dress after pinning it in place and making sure that you adjust the gathers to fit after sewing make sure to complete the side seam as your right side facing each other join the dress at side and hem the bottom of the dress and your dress is ready this is what it looks like I kind of like the sleeve I had fun making the dress and I hope you have fun making yours please do well to subscribe like share and comment see you in the next tutorial bye for now